Here it is, uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, we worked for a while last night through the day getting these parts ready. Uh, as you can see now, uh, we got our GT bumper up on here for a markup. And uh, unfortunately, the rear bumper didn't come with a diagram where to put the holes. Uh, we did get a diagram for the front chin spoiler, but uh, we got that in the other room. I'm going to show you a few. But uh, we did our markup. Uh, we got this bolted on now. It's attached to the bolt originally. And now we can do a true cutout where we can see where our exhaust has got to be cut. And then uh, a little tweaking here and there. Our brackets will install now. It's a nice tight fit. As you can see now, everything's uniform. Uh, we'll go ahead now and do our final marking for our cutting. As you can see, I had to line up and do some modification work to make this cover fit. But as you can see now, now we have a true fit all the way around. Nice. Uh, you will need a GT bumper to do this uh, body kit. As you can see, we have that problem solved now. Over here in the paint room, we have our parts in. Like you see, we already got these parts already prepped, glued, and ready for paint. You can see where this black misting is. It's because uh, I like to prep my plastic before gluing. I like to prep it down with like a 320 uh, sand grit to give it a little bit more bite instead of putting the glue on a standard uh, smooth finish. As you can see, uh, the chain spooler is now installed. You can see it's put it's at a nice level height. Uh, I already did up a marking. Uh, we already cut down our markers to install it. As you can see over here, it comes with these little pantlets where you can drill the proper holes. You can see it's already set up and marked. I'm going to remove it off for a minute so you can see uh, some of the process that this cover takes when you're doing one of these kits. Uh, you got to make sure you be very carefully because the unit is really set up. Like I say, underneath there, I got one more bolt hole that doesn't fall. But you can see, you got to lay it out, drill out the holes. Uh, we're going to have multiple stands. The reason why is these are a lot of parts. I mean, this is we still have a rear bumper and we got to break the back bumper down. We got our last piece now. We got to sand it and then we're going to glue it and then we're going to put our primer surfacer on it and then we'll shoot the black misting. The black misting so we can make sure we don't have no final defects and scratches in our parts before painting. So it will be prepped one more time and the black mist will be totally missed off to make sure there's no purities or whatever on it. That's what that's for. And then we'll put our final coat of primer on it. And these pieces should be ready to be painted. Hopefully before the week is in, we'll have our first parts painted, ready to go under our body. But we got some pitch up work and paint work to do on our body. And we'll see how it goes today. This is our third day. We're beginning now on it. And we're doing pretty good. See ya.